Okay, friends. We have a lot of balls in the air today, but we have good air quality. You guys, our air quality got so, so bad. We were up to 285. Just for reference, check what your air quality is right now. Yeah, and our friends that live outside of town, their air quality was 385. Absolutely horrible. It started raining last night, and Washington has never, ever been so excited for rain in our whole life. Like, in the 21 years we've been here, we've not been so excited to see it rain. Our air quality now is officially 23. 23. We're so excited. It also means while we make applesauce, which I will get to, we can open this door when it gets hot, which it will, and we can have fresh air, and we can enjoy. Oh, I need to do laundry. I'm trying to shut doors that we don't need to open. Usually I shut doors when I know the chore in that room is done. So, laundry room cannot get shut. I need to do laundry, get it going, before we start applesauce, because it makes it hard to like, do other chores and speaking of apples sweet okay so he still has apples okay applesauce whole point of today's video is applesauce we have more jars getting sanitized in the dishwasher and help Jason here really quick and okay, let's put you down and we'll keep talking we have washed some of the jars how many did we get washed Jace not very many. Well, oh, those four over there. We oh, got. we only got four. We got to hurry and get these in. So we're gonna start making applesauce, but we've got to sanitize all these jars. I'll hand them to you. Um, you have to have them clean. These are years of collecting jars, and I want to show you something fun that we found when I was looking for these jars. Uh, we're not going to quite get them all in, huh? We'll take out the utensil holder. All right, we also have you some medicine let's another you sticky. Do you need food or she what? came in at 6 a.m. Because she wanted to take a shower. Here, will you put that away? Actually, I'm going to clean the back counter off. Um, okay, so we're getting set up still, but we have 50 minutes left on the washer before the jars come out. So we'll just kind of get things all prepped and ready. But I wanted to show you guys, as I was getting these jars out last night, can I, how many of the two jars in here that I found? I found our last batch that we made. This is our last batch of applesauce. I found a dozen jars of that. And then I found a dozen jars of this. Let me tell you the significance of these. So this last batch of applesauce, do you, have you won't be able to see it, but it was, we do uh, not have milk. Uh, no. Um, it was made in 2015, so seven years ago, my dad and my mom came up here and they helped me make applesauce, and that was the last time I made it. It has lasted us that long. We thought we were out of it all year this year, but apparently I had a dozen more, but that wouldn't have lasted us, what, more than a month? <laughs> so, because this one was open last night, it's almost gone. So that's kind of cool. That's the last time I made applesauce with my mom. And then I found this apricot jam. This is apricot pineapple jam. And this is one that I thought I didn't have any more of either. It was clear in the very back of our shelves. This was the last batch of apricot jam I made with my mom and my twin sister. These are the apricots from my sister's tree that burned down. So this was the only batch that we ever got out of her apricot tree while she lived in that home and she's hopefully going to get new, fully grown apricot trees next spring. They were hoping to get her some last summer, but the weather didn't coordinate and they couldn't coordinate getting the lawn put in, in time. Anyway, it was like a big snafu with insurance and all that kind of stuff. So these two jars kind of mean a lot to me. They have memories and they're so good. I wanna make some toast with that today. I ate tons of warm applesauce last night for my snack, which is perfect. Huh? Did you have some? No, I just up so much. Oh, she wasn't feeling good last night. All right, so we're going to keep setting up here. I'm going to wipe the counters down and get some towels out. When we get applesauce into these, um, they need to be wiped down. So I kind of like to have a clean space to start with. All right, one thing I will say, this is not necessarily a tutorial video. I have a whole playlist. I have it linked here in an iCard, and then I'll link it down below. All the videos that I've done on applesauce. We are doing the version of 
the Victorio strainer. If you watch one of the versions, I have a video of stovetop, crock pot, instant pot, and then there's the uh, Victorio strainer. The Victorio strainer is the easiest um, to get applesauce and the quickest. It's also the one where you can get the, the yellowest applesauce or whatever color your apples are. If they're red, you're gonna get good red applesauce. If they're yellow, you're gonna get good yellow. The other versions, unless it's the instant pot, the, it's a slower cooking process, so your applesauce is gonna turn more brown because the apples turn brown. And again, we don't add anything to it. I don't add lemon juice or anything. So the quicker you can cook this and get them um, processed, the lighter your applesauce is gonna be. Okay, so right now I'm doing all the lids because I forgot to put them underneath all the jars in the dishwasher, so I'm just washing these by hand. Just kind of scrubbing the strainer. We're trying to figure out where we're gonna put it. I thought we could put it here on the counter, but we actually might do it at the table, which is where I remember we did it last time. All right, you're getting a true behind the scenes. Um, so since we have good air quality, so since we have good air quality today, we can have this door open. Right now it's gonna feel chilly, but as soon as we get cooking, um, we're gonna have that door open and we're gonna bring the yard waste bucket here so that when we get the peeled goop coming into this bucket, we can just go ahead and put it straight out into the yard waste and not have to like fill up the garbage can. And then we're gonna have rotating bowls with the applesauce so that we don't drip, but it literally makes a mess. So we have a towel down here. Let's get another towel. And then over here, I have this kind of clean station. This is where all the clean jars are gonna go. And I'm gonna line this counter with my nice, not my nice towels, but my softer towels to put them on because they come out really hot with the hot applesauce. And then they need to be cleaned here and set out. And then as soon as we're done cooking apples here, then I'll bring in my hot water bath cooker, my steamer cooker, and we'll start um, to process the jars here. But for right now, it's just easier to just process the apples and boil them and whatnot. But we're still kind of waiting for these. We can't really start until we have jars. So we're kind of just getting everything all prepped. I might even hand wash some of these dishes just to get them out of the way. And these are ready to clean and rinse off. This is a good a day as any To start the rebuilding of life The roads that lay open are many When the old one's gone under the knife And I can feel the sun on my skin small break I am going to I look like crap <laughs> I look like I've been steamed for the past three four hours it's one o'clock and we've been doing this solid for four hours by the time we kind of got the batch going and the water boiling and the apples all soft with the first batch uh, I think I had filled up four of the jars that I had cleaned um, then the new bottles were clean they were in the, in the dishwasher. So we have now done just over two dozen uh, bottles. And I guess they're quart, quart jars. And we're still gonna go strong. We're gonna try and empty the bin that I have in the kitchen right now. Jason's still working at home because he wasn't hungry, but I am. And we're literally, there, it's such a mess when you're doing this. Like it is such a mess. There's no stove top space to like make something. I don't want to really turn on the oven and like forget that something is in there. So I'm going to get McDonald's because I just don't care. And taco time does it like a, a work on my stomach. And so, and I don't have time to sit down and eat like Cafe Rio, even though I have a credit with them. I bought Kaylee and Jacob Cafe Rio the other day. So 
I'm going to get me and Chelsea something to eat. She wants her own little Halloween bucket from her kids' meal. <laughs> Ashley got one the other day. And so I'm just gonna hurry and get that. I'm gonna eat in the car as I drive back home. And then uh, uh, we're gonna start up on this. Jason's a little anxious to get it done because he needs to go over and help with the haunted house this afternoon. And so we only have a few hours left of his help. And I feel like we're only about halfway done, but he kind of just, I don't know. I need him to help me finish because it takes, it's a lot of work to clean it all up. Like we have to wipe everything down. We have to wipe down cupboards and doorknobs and the, the table and the legs. And we try and move all the legs from, or the, all the table chairs out of the way so that they don't get any kind of juice on them. But like the area he's working on, it just is covered in apple juice, literally. And you have to mop the floors and clean the baseboards. It just gets everywhere. It's on our feet, sticky. I need him to stay for that part of it and because he'll be gone the rest of the evening. I'm not gonna get stuck with cleaning all of this up. So, I'm gonna go get food. Also, look at this glorious rain. It's fantastic. This is my favorite little set of trees. Well, that's bad luck. First day of rain and we have um, the drive through closed. So now I need to, I haven't gone in to order in McDonald's like in two and a half, almost three years. So this is interesting. Also, I love that this tells me exactly when I need to stop. And their system is down. So they're not even open inside. Which is a bummer. So I'm gonna go find something else. I gotta go see what else I can find. Okay, we got that cleaned up. Yeah, I, uh, my sister called on my drive home from getting McDonald's. So I, I didn't pick back up, but this is the mess that is left. I still have to jar those ones, but we were trying to get cleaned up so Jason can leave. But this we have is, a whole thing of dishes. I've got to clean all these parts hands. by hand. Yeah. It's a lot. It's all good. So, this is the fruits of our labor. Quite literally. And this is the... Man, that's like caramelized <laughs> so apple bad. stuff. Oh, that's nasty. Yeah. We'll let the kids do that. <laughs> and that's what it looks like. All clean. Aren't they beautiful? It's worth the effort, but... I'm pretty exhausted right now. I've got the rest of the kitchen all cleaned up. I had to hand wash a ton of dishes, including all the parts for the strainer. And then these guys on the stove top, they have not fully come clean. I'm curious about the one in the dishwasher is gonna do. I have scraped and scraped at this. Um, when I kind of go to do dishes next, I'm gonna soak it again or try and run it through the wash, but I can't get that off. So that's lovely. And then I've scraped at this side as well. I'm gonna have Jason go at it um, when he gets home or tomorrow or Sunday or something. Cause I've already chipped, let's see, one of my nails. Yep, chipped that nail and uh, another one. I know I've chipped another one, but I'm done. But you would think that after all that hard work, I could just go sit on the couch and enjoy a quiet Friday night. No, we still haven't done Costco. <laughs> I'm literally so tired. But Abby's gonna go with me. Are you gonna go, Ash? Are you gonna go to Costco with me? She's thinking about it. I don't know if she's gonna go or not. Um, amidst all of that, we've been doing laundry. I still have a load to move and a load to fold and hang. And we haven't even shown you this. I don't go to my post office very, PO box very often, but um, if you send me something, maybe send me something on Instagram to tell me to go, go and get it because um, good old Tanya, she was like, have you gone to your PO box lately? She sent this two weeks ago. She actually probably sent it three weeks ago. And it just got to me from Canada because I just barely went to the post office to pick it up. So we're gonna open that later tonight when um, all the kids are here now, but I'm just not in the mood. Um, and Jason wants to do it with us. Um, this might be him coming in, but he's just gonna change and go back to the, um, what do you call it, hunted forest. I'm gonna rest for like 20 minutes and then we're gonna go to Costco so that I can just be done for the night. It's only 4.30, but I've literally been doing this since she went to school. So before 9 a.m. Six hours. Yeah, 
Seven. Seven hours we've been doing this. All right. Abby came with me and she actually drove through five o'clock traffic, which was pretty good. Good experience and driving in the rain since, I, I mean, you've driven in the rain. I don't think I have. I drove it hasn't so. rained since June. So there's a good, yeah, she hasn't driven in the rain. So it's good practice because it rains a majority of the rain of the year here. So good practice tonight. Um, she's getting good at parking and that was good practice. So, uh, I'm making plans for girls night tomorrow night. All the guys are gonna be at the spook alley. So all of my girlfriends are texting me right now, trying to figure out what to do. I'm gonna put this away, it's rainy. All right, nothing special. This is kind of the only thing that's different is some skinny pot for lunches. This is the last one of these that they have. They don't carry these very often, so we get them when we can. Abby got some um, Annie's mac and cheese, a little extra, we normally don't get that one. And then regular chicken from, is that bear chicken? Cottage cheese, milks, bagels, chips, Coke, eggs, fruit, all this is pretty normal. Oh, and a pumpkin pie for Jason. I gave him a pumpkin pie. Okay, we're back at home. I've got my berries soaking in some water and vinegar. We're gonna make those bar chicken nuggets for dinner. I'm gonna cut up an apple, and then I'm gonna sit down and enjoy some of this queso dip. We haven't gotten this white queso dip from Costco before. Um, hopefully it's not too spicy with the white chilies, but I'm just, I'm just gonna relax and enjoy that. And I'm gonna cut myself an apple and call it a night with you guys. Jason's doing the spook alley all night tonight. Um, I believe Kaylee is going with her friends tomorrow night. Abby's going with her friends tomorrow night. Um, I'm not going. <laughs> I don't like being scared. So I'm just going to sit here and um, wait for my food to cook. Also, I need to put my chicken bones into a crock pot. I will finish canning all of these tomorrow. They are fine to sit here on the counter. In fact, a lot of the time the heat from the jars will actually like suck. I don't even think any of these are gonna pop. A lot of the time the heat from the applesauce will actually like do part of the ceiling for you. Yeah, these have all popped. Oh, see there's one. So that one's not sealed. But you do do a water bath to completely seal them. Can you just like eat those ones right away if they don't seal? Um, you can. Like I have one that's only half filled, so we're gonna we can eat that one. Um, but I'll water bath them tomorrow. I, I, realistically, I might do it on Sunday because I am in and out all day tomorrow with cheer, and we have a like a choir practice for the girls for church. They're in a performance in two weeks, so they have practice for that tomorrow. So I may not get to doing the water bath little canning thing tomorrow. I might just do it after we get home from church Sunday, turn on a football game. We have a fire lit for the first time since last year, and that's very inviting, despite the laundry. <laughs> Still sitting here, you guys. My life is a mess, but I'm determined to have all of this stuff put away by tonight. And by that I mean Jason's going to earn this pie. He's going to help me with laundry <laughs> when he gets home. He won't be home till 10. They won't have to clean up tonight, but they will tomorrow night. So I'm gonna sign off with you guys. I hope you enjoyed our little process today. Like I said, it's not a tutorial. I didn't really like walk you through and verbally talk, to, talk you through the steps, but I've done a bajillion other videos about the entire process, no matter how you wanna cook them. So go check out those, um, and also just check out our family from past years. <laughs> it might be kind of fun to see who we are in the past. Um, the girls helped in the past when they were little and they were home from school, so it might be kind of a fun little memory lane. So take care and thanks for joining us. Good night, guys. in the world I've been to this is where my heart is oh you know it's true no matter where I go I'm coming home to you